It was just like any other Monday morning, although it could have been a Sunday afternoon. Not a single crumb of comfort in the bread bin, or the merest hint of cake to lift the gloom. It was this and that, but mostly the other, that prompted the decision, now that splendid isolation was the norm. To upload my cheery demeanour to an online dating site, and boom, my Photoshop profile caused a storm. Embellished by a tissue of well-crafted lies, my inbox was soon laden and brimming. I felt bountiful, copious, rife and well-thronged. The feelings you get when you're winning. Voicemails, messages, emails and texts almost fused my neurotransmitter. It's not just a romantic partner up for grabs, but a friend, a soulmate and a bill splitter. So from loads to lots to dozens to seven, from five to four to three, from two to one to the one and only, that nailed on one and only for me. So we met by the mouthwash in Poundland, my internet paramour and me. And if I wasn't tall, dark and mansome, she definitely wasn't 33. She had one airy arm, a painted monobrow and a king crimson Adam's apple. Laughed like a drain when she told me she'd been banned from Tinder, Huffle, Piffle, Shuffle and Snaffle. Her eyes were wide, her ankles even wider, and her midriff was misshapen and swollen. Until she lifted up her tracky top and lowered her kex to show me the six toilet ducks that she'd stolen. She said not much, and I said even less, in calm and fluent monosyllabic stutter. If you were tooled up, you could have cut the atmosphere with a Poundland Special Atmosphere Cutter. Then all at once, straight away, suddenly, and all of a sudden, dear me, OMG, oh lordy, she threw a star shape and rifled out a fart that would have terrified a fully grown Geordie. She told me I was almost what she'd always hoped for, and if I lost a couple of stone, I'd be an eight. I shouldn't listen to any rumours of restraining orders, and she'd be happy to train me up to procreate. She had a smile that was a real head turner. Teeth, fifty shades of black, greys and tans. The barcode scanner on the till picked them up as a set of non-stick frying pans. She took out a phone and waved it in the air, said she'd call me twice a day for free. But I knew straight away she wouldn't be wasting any of her any time minutes on me. My jaw was slack, a smile I couldn't crack. She'd blown what was left of me head gasket. I hoped against hope that she'd disappear into the ether like chicken in the basket. Beyond terrified, I about faced and hastened past the scented inner soles and protein flapjacks, beyond the camping mallets, the mouse traps and the hair dye, pot noodles, giant Toblerones and moustache wax, away from the tin peas and garden gnomes and the inflatable Welsh mountain sheep, out of the shop and into the street, and I know beauty's only skin deep, but if you're using apps, tools and filters to find other like-minded souls, you'll have to take it at face value, take it on the chin and take a box of super strength bog rolls.